And the crowd goes crazy! Woo! All right, what's up guys? One take, one opportunity to show you guys how to build a crowd from nothing and then turn it into a show. Are you ready? Study, take notes boys and girls. Here we go. Well, you might as well watch me. I'm gonna do some magic. I'm actually pretty good. That's why I work here on the streets. You wanna see this man? You're gonna love this. Bring your girlfriend in, show you're not afraid of commitment. <laughs> Are you guys Brisbane locals? No, where are you from? And you've come all the way here just to see me. Thanks, man. <laughs> to be ever, guys, come in close. Check these out for me, my guy. Check those coins out. You can check them out as well. You, sir, you may as well watch this. My last show today before I do three more, so <laughs> my last, fourth last show. But you can pick them up. You can hold them in your hands. I trust you not to run away with my stuff. Do you know what happened to the last person that tried to run away with my stuff? They got away with it because I'm not very fit. So <laughs> I just let them go, you know. But you check it out. I'll get some people here. Hey, watch me. I'm good. <laughs> Tests! Free maps! <laughs> All right, here it is, guys. A quick warm-up. Keep your eyes on the ring. No, no, come in a bit closer, guys. Keep your eyes on the ring. You're getting sleepy. Is this working? No, okay, at least you're honest. <laughs> Keep your eyes on the ring, though. It looks like this. Ready? Gone. You see that, sir? It's right there on the table. It never left. Look, I'll do it again, but I'll do it with this coin here, all right? I'll do this one so slow. Ray Charles could follow this. You gotta take the coin, you give it a squeeze, and sure enough, I actually did put it in that hand, because I can see you looking at this hand, buddy. Don't think I don't notice these things, all right? Then you gotta do it like this, just a quick squeeze and a wave, and it's gone, and then you wave again, it comes right back. I can take that coin and throw it high into the air, it becomes invisible, then you can pull it out of your sleeve. Huh? You ever seen a coin fall down? Yeah, you ever seen a coin fall up? That's because they're magnetic, you see, but they do come apart. You can actually have that, that's for you. I'm just kidding, of course. It's just over here, yeah? <laughs> but watch this. You ready? Solid table. Two coins here. Ring in the right hand. Does that look fair to you guys? Oh, my God. A sale. <laughs> Can't believe that worked. <laughs> I got two there, and I still got the two coins in the ring over here. But check it out, man. All the coins go through the top of the table. But I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, holy crap, this guy is good, right? Fair enough. I'll just carry on. <laughs> Do me a favor, hold these, buddy. Oh, you got hands full. Never mind, I'll keep them. They're in your pocket. Reach inside. Are they there? Of course not, but that would have been a bloody good trick. <laughs> but watch this. You got to take this coin here. You give it a little rub and it gets bigger. You know, I do that trick in America. People go, wow, that's amazing. I do it here in Brisbane. They're all like, get on with it, fat boy. <laughs> but watch this. That was just the crap I do to warm up. And now what I'm going to share with you guys is actually kind of cool, yeah? Check it out. Isn't that kind of cool? I like to call it six years without a girlfriend, so I better be bloody cool. <laughs> Here, do me a favor. What's your name, dude? Lincoln. Lincoln. Pick a card, Lincoln, anyone you want. Don't let me influence you. It's a free choice. This one. No worries, Lincoln. I'll just do a different trick. <laughs> show it a Okay, show me as well. That's fine. I've seen this trick before. It's all good. Have a look at the card. Remember this. You can jump back there, Lincoln. I'll let you. Remember the card. I'll show it to all these guys over here. Remember that. Look at this. It goes right there in the middle. Now, I've been doing this all around Australia for a hell of a long time. But look, this is the way you shuffle. That right there is called the American shuffle. Does that look fair? This right here is called the waterfall shuffle. Pretty good, eh? Waterfall shuffle in reverse. Waterfall shuffle in Iceland. <laughs> the ex-girlfriend shuffle. You see, it looks good, but it does nothing. Couple of cuts like this, and then we got the magic stick. Look at that, you gotta spin, you gotta tap. Your card jumps to the top. Is that your card? No, you seem pretty pleased about that, Lincoln. Look, you gotta take the card, you gotta blow on it. And then it changes into your card, you see? I know, right? It's so damn good, I'll help you guys out. Yay! But watch this, it gets better. Do me a favor, uh, young man, what's your name? Dodge, could you write that on the card with this pen they were giving away at my bank? There you go. Just don't cut yourself with that because that is a Sharpie. You do that, I'll try and get some more people over here. Hey, watch me! Whenever you're ready, kid, no rush. <laughs> yeah, you're just in the white space, buddy. Go ahead. You're doing good. You do that, I'll entertain these guys with a cheap trick. <laughs> yeah, I know, I feel flushed. <laughs> All right, just a big line, you reckon? No worries. What did you say your name was? There you go, buddy. Jump back over there for me, kiddo. Check this out. Do you ever do this when no one's looking? No? Good idea. Stay off the pens. They'll make you paranoid, yeah? But watch this. 
Don't worry, the kids don't get that one. If they do, it's not my fault, all right? But look at this, do me a favor. If you guys could all just take a step closer to me, that way we look more like a crowd and less like a religious gathering. Not you, back up, right? <laughs> but you guys are perfect. Here we go. Your name won't come off that, kiddo, but if I just gave this card a little rub, the card is gone. Would you be impressed if the card that your name is on was inside this gentleman's pocket with your name on the card? Would you be impressed? So would I. That'd be bloody good, wouldn't it? If I was that good, I wouldn't be working on the streets, yeah? But look at this, man. You can see it's not on the top, not on the bottom. You ever want it to come back? You've got to snap your fingers. It comes back looking like a two, but when you rub it, it changes into your card. Then when I put it back in the middle, it jumps back to the top. Is anybody following this? Does anybody care anymore? Let's be honest, yeah? But watch this. I'll find the card one last time without the use of my hands, and then I'll finish off hell quick with the oldest trick in the world. Does that sound okay to you guys? Hands up if you speak English. All right, a couple of you. Hands up if you don't speak English. Great, how did you understand the question then, sir? All right, look at this. Finding the card without the use of my hands. It goes right there in the middle. Now, I've been doing this all around Australia for the past 10 years, which makes me the best magician within a 10-foot radius. And I know that when I find this card, everyone will go absolutely wild with applause. And then we finish off with the oldest trick in the world, okay? Check this out, man. Nothing here, nothing here. Hold on. Boom. Oh, bummer. I know, right? It tastes like chicken. Now, guys, it is the correct card. Do me a favor and act like you're having fun, even if you're not. And then we finish up with the oldest trick in the world. Check it out there, Dodge. Is that your name? Oh, come on, make some noise. You guys can't do it. Now watch this. Ladies and gentlemen, now that we've finally got a small group of you here watching me, I can share with you all the oldest trick in the world. But before I get stuck right into it, uh, young lady, what's your name? Sorry? Lexi, that's a lovely name. That was my name when I was a young lady. Lexi, it's 2021, you never know. Lexi, what's your favorite balloon animal, sweetheart? Anything you like? Good choice, that makes my job a lot easier. Here it is, two ways to make a dog. One is that you take the balloon and you twist it into the shape of a dog. The other one is that you take the balloon and you swallow it. Bear with me on this, yeah, all right. It'll go in the mouth today, through the body, and then it will come out tomorrow. As a poodle. <laughs> or a shih tzu. <laughs> Come on guys, where would we be without laughter, eh? Hip switch. Now watch this. Swallowing a balloon. And by the way, kids, do not try this at home. Do it at school where all your friends can watch. You'll get a bigger crowd, yeah? Here we go. <laughs> you should see the look on your faces. You're all just like this. Now guys, this is a bloody dangerous trick. I can actually die doing this for you all today. So don't try and stop me. No worries, I'll just do it then. Here we go. Swallowing a balloon. Mum's proud. <laughs> Studied a degree in the arts for this. That's not it there. Ta -da. Oh, come on, clap. You guys can't do it. Now watch this. Ladies and gentlemen, for most of you, that'll be the... It'll come out tomorrow at 6 o'clock, don't worry. For most of you, that'll be the weirdest thing you've seen today. And for those of you that it's not, definitely good on you guys. But now what I'm going to share with you all is the oldest trick in the world. Before I get stuck right into it, allow me to introduce myself for the few people that just joined in. My name is Jason, and like I said, I've been doing this all around Australia for the past 10 years. So by a round of applause, if you have ever seen me before. Good. <laughs> One person, good. <laughs> by a round of applause, if you have not seen me before. Yeah. By a round of applause, if you couldn't give a crap either way. Uh, yeah. Son of a... <laughs> Look at this. Three cups. Now, as well as this, I also happen to have three balls. <laughs> no, you filthy pirates, all right? Three balls and a magic stick. Watch the stick. 
I know, it looks better on that side, just so you know. These guys are like, wow, that was quick. He's like, wow, that really sucked. <laughs> now guys, I actually learned these tricks from my father. He was a magician as well. He disappeared when I was born. So he can't win them all, yeah? <laughs> but look at this. All you gotta do is you take a ball, you hit it with a stick, it's gone. I'll do it again with ball number two. Ball, can you see okay from there, kid? You're all good? Yep, gone. Oh, you saw that, did you, man? Sorry, buddy. I thought I could slip one by. Here you go, mate. All right, kid, all right. Now watch this. Ball number three is the most difficult because now you all know what to expect. You got to spin, you got to tap. Did you see it go, man? Mate, you've been staring me down like an immigrations officer. You're making me nervous. Look, you got to give it a magic blow. <laughs> the ball's gone. <laughs> what? Gone. Don't worry, it comes out with the balloon tomorrow. It's fine. I'm only joking, of course. It is, in fact, here underneath these cups, which drives the audience wild with applause. Come on, Brisbane, give me some love, yeah? Now watch this. I'll get rid of two of the balls. Now, not many people know this, but this also used to be an old gambling game. Seriously, did you know that, man? What was your name? Jake. Jake, that's a great name, dude. That's my mum's name. Jake, look at this. It's, it's 2021, you can't laugh at that. You'll offend someone. Jake, look. I cover this up, I move these around. All you've got to try and do is tell me where's the ball? Is it underneath A, B or C? C. That's quite correct, Jake, but you couldn't have got that wrong, man, because I left you one over here. I even left you one underneath the middle cup because I didn't want you to get it wrong. And now I'm going to show you guys how it's done. You see, when I say I take that ball and vanish it, hey, I don't really take the ball and vanish it. You see that? Now this is exactly what a lonely, what a lonely adult life looks like. And then what I do is I drop that ball from behind the cup. Anyone to tell you it was there the whole time? So Jake, how many balls are under that middle cup? Three. Exactly, just one. Oh. How many balls, mate? Zero. No, I just showed you it's one. But you're getting closer, man. You are getting closer. How many, Jake? One. I knew you'd get it right eventually. But check it out, Jake. This one comes back. So, mate, how many balls are under that middle cup? No, no, we just got two there, Jake. Jake, how many balls are under that middle cup? No, no, I just took one away. Don't listen to me. I'm cheating, Jake. Look, Jake, look. I'll give you another chance. How many balls are under that cup? I'll, I'll give you a hint. No, I just told you it's two, Jake. Jake, no matter how many times I do it, it's always two. How many? No, three. You're not following. <laughs> three balls go in, Jake. How many now? Exactly. Orange. Oh, come on. Make some noise. I want to hear it. Yeah. Now watch this. Watch this. The finale on the table in 30 seconds. And it is, as they say back in Sydney, heaps good. <laughs> Do me a favor, man. Can you catch this orange? Here you go. Is that a real orange? Yeah, yeah throw it back to me, mate, on the count of three. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Have you ever helped a magician out before? Well, you're not helping today either, are you? <laughs> Watch this for the finale. Yay. I will vanish these three balls from underneath this magic hat. Now this is a magic hat. You can always tell because magic hats are bigger on the inside. Check it out, man. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I guarantee you someone was like, wow. <laughs> now guys, I know that in the grand scheme of things, vanishing three balls from underneath a hat really doesn't seem all that impressive, yeah? You see all these people on TV like Chris Angel and Dynamo doing all this crazy stuff, and I'm just going to make three balls disappear. But consider this. This is live, and I've got beautiful people here. Beautiful people here. And these guys are here as well. Hey, guys, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's watching me from different angles, so I have to be good or you'll catch me out. So watch close. Vanishing the balls. Hop! Wait, hang on, let me... Sorry. I didn't eaten them up. Come on, man, give me some credit, all right? <laughs> now, guys, at this point, I'm sure you can all tell as well, but I will tell you anyway. I am a street performing professional busking magician, which means this is my job. <laughs> Nobody's laughing now. <laughs> so guys, at the end of the show, I do a street, he's still, I throw my hat on the table. If you enjoy the show, reach inside your wallet, take out five or 10 bucks, and just leave your wallet inside of the hat. <laughs> but seriously, guys, my magic is for everyone. Whether you're rich, poor, or even homeless, it is for everyone. But if you can give, give. If you cannot give, 
Give. <laughs> Here it is, vanishing the balls. Watch close. Hop. It's time for sure. Here we go. Woo. <laughs> I know, right? I know, I know. But the balls have now vanished. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you don't believe me. Hands up if you believe the balls have vanished. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thanks. Hands up if you don't believe the balls have vanished. That's fair. That makes sense. Yeah. Hands up if you just don't care what I do. Okay. All right. I see how it's going to be. Oh, but I didn't vanish the balls, mate. How the hell could I do this? <laughs> did you see that? Did <laughs> Bring the balls back again. Yeah. You're not impressed with that, are you, Jake? But you were impressed with the orange, so I'll do it again. If there's an orange in there, there's an orange in there. If there's an orange in there, there's an orange in there, there's an orange in there. If there's an orange in there, there's an orange in there. There's even an applause cue, sixth orange all the way over there. Come on, that's a bloody good trick. But I know what you guys really want to see. Jake, how many balls are under the hat? Three. That's close enough. Zero. Oh, blue. <laughs> And the crowd goes crazy! Woo! Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me share one last thing with you all before you go. Don't leave yet! I can hit you with a melon. <laughs> Guys, thank you all so much for taking time out of your days to stop and have fun with me. I hope you all have a great day and a great life. And please come forward, put money in the hat, so I can have a great day and a great life too. Thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you. Woo! There it is. Don't show them my money. Don't look at my money. But I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, leave a comment on what you think of the show. <laughs>